Okay, so we got just we got a little bit of a um, um, display of brush strokes and some mark makings. Play it, keep playing around with that now. But what I want to do is mix it up a tiny bit. I want to um, I'm wetting my paper, which is clear water. If you don't have a spray bottle, that's no problem. You could just take your brush. Um, how, I'd like you to just wash it out if you could. If it's, there's still paint on it, just pick up some of the water and just do a couple of passes. So I got some water down on my paper. Everything I did up here, that's wet on dry. Meaning wet, uh, wet paint on dry paper. What I'm doing now will be called wet on wet. So same idea. I want to, um, I'll try a different color and see here. I'll go with this, uh, go back to the blue. I'm just playing with the primaries for now. Is I want to try to do these strokes, but it's amazing how immediately you have this reaction. You have this reaction from the pigment onto the wet surface. And of course, of course, if you know that it's just these pigments, these, these little grains of sand that are interfacing with the surface and now the surface is wet, you have a much clearer idea of what's going on down here. You have this idea of like, these are just, these are like clouds. They're like these little mini particles on your page and they're reacting to the humidity and the, the, the moisture that's also on your page. So you get these cool effects if you tilt and you incorporate uh, gravity. You start to tilt your paper. I'm so I'm tilting my paper down towards me. And I know that the, the particles are just gonna kind of move down the page towards me. And you see this here, I have this bead. So B, I'm gonna write that down because that's it's very important. If you're enjoying this class, then please hop on over to our website where you can continue to watch part of this course for free. Next up, Jun will show us how to utilize the bead, how to layer colors on top of each other effectively and how to paint big shapes in an easy way. We will also be doing an exercise on how to paint a leaf using all the tips and techniques that we learned so far. Hope to see you there and until next time, make more art.